It was um, a blind date, I guess. You right? Go for it. Yeah. Uh, well, there was two friends, and we went to a play. And Max's father happened to be the lead, one of the leads in this play. It was Waiting for Godot. And that's where I met Max. I was smitten right away. I came to Israel my first time in 1969 and lived on a kibbutz. Uh, for nine months. I made a trip to Israel um, right after university and worked in a, a kibbutz. We grew up in Montreal and then moved to Vancouver. Our children were born all in Montreal. Montreal was a very, very pro-Zionist city and very traditional city. And, um, you know, we tended to get involved in youth groups which, you know, fostered a love of Israel. I was brought into the um, archives, the, the old archives, um, and um, Adi um, opened up um, Ben-Gurion's Black Book and read a portion of the book, and, um, and I just tears rolled down my eyes, and I could not believe it. Just hearing Ben-Gurion's words in that small space, it, it just spoke to me. And that's what led to um, getting involved in putting up this new building. We had no, no idea that we would ever, ever get involved in something like this besides planting trees and all the other things you get involved with with Israel, but never to a project like this or of this magnitude. I was totally blown away when we first walked up to the building. Oh my gosh, was all I could say. Also, we felt it's such an important project that we wanted to make sure we had um, input. Cindy is very, very strong in um, a graphic design and art and color. She'll actually be making the mezuzahs for the building. The mezuzah is very fundamental to our Jewish tradition, so it does mean something, of course, to me, to be able to do this. Well, of course, I feel very honored to to be offered this doctorate and to accept it. I never thought I'd be achieving this, but it's a fantastic honor. I keep laughing about it because I, <laughs> I never got a degree in anything, including high school. So to me, this is like, uh, I can't believe it. Both um, Cindy's parents and my parents would be awestruck with, with this. And we hope that this will pass on to our kids and our grandkids that they'll be able to continue to do these kinds of things to make the world a better place.